Hello and happy Ascension Day. I can see the puzzled looks. Christmas, I know. Easter, I know. But Ascension Day? Has that got something to do with Kilmarnock Not being relegated? No, nothing like that. Ascension Day is 40 days after Easter. I suppose you could say it brings Easter and Jesus rising from the dead and meeting on earth with his friends, that time in his life, to an end. If you count out 40 days from Easter Sunday, Ascension Day is always on a Thursday, and this year it's May the 13th. That's fine, but what is it? It's the time, the glorious time, when Jesus had his last meeting with his disciples and then left them. Left the earth, in fact, to go back into heaven. The Bible tells us that he stood there with his friends. Jesus was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. Always when we had friends or relatives to visit from a bit further away, we'd see them to the door, walk them along the path, see them into their car and then we'd stand on the pavement and wave and wave and wave. My grandpa always brought out his white hanky for the occasion. We would wave all the way until we saw the car disappear at the end of the road and we could see them no more. Same thing for seeing people off at the airport. I remember in the days when Presbyterian Airport had lots of transatlantic flights. We would say goodbye to our friends as they went through customs waving all the way. Then we would go up to the spectator area and we'd just sit and wait for their plane to taxi along the runway, lift off, head for the skies and disappear into the clouds, waving all the way. No cars, planes or white hankies were involved on Ascension Day. But Jesus' friends saw a very similar thing happen. Jesus was taken up, lifted up into the sky, a bit like that aeroplane, and then disappeared behind a cloud. So Jesus left his friends, left the earth. But what was his destination? Well, as you can imagine, there were angels on the scene to help these poor, amazed people. And the angels told them, Jesus has been taken from you into heaven. I wonder if you believe angels and what they say in the Bible. The Christmas angels, Jesus was born at Bethlehem. The Easter angel, Jesus is risen from the dead. The Ascension angels, Jesus has been taken into heaven. I do, and I love all these things that Jesus did. And I love this day, the day that we remember that Jesus went back into heaven. The day that reminds us that Jesus is in heaven, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, right now. So what if Jesus is in heaven, some might ask. I believe he's in heaven for us, loving us right now, wherever we are. And he's in heaven waiting for us when the day comes for us to leave this earth. We're going to finish in a wee while for some, with some songs for the Ascension. But before that, I'd like to read some verses that will probably be very familiar to you. Wonderful verses about Jesus now in heaven, preparing a place for us there and coming back to take us to be in heaven with him. This is a great day to remember these promises. It's a great day to believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again for us and is alive and is Lord forever and ever. I hope you like the clouds, by the way. They were freshly made today, yes, in the skies over New Cumnock. May the 13th, 2021. Look up into the sky where you are and enjoy the meaning and the blessing 
of this Ascension Day. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So don't worry and don't be afraid. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we praise and thank you for your time on earth with us, for dying on the cross for us, for rising from the grave that we too might have eternal life. We praise and thank you that you ascended into heaven and there you are for us, there you wait for us. Help us to trust you for this life and the next. Hallelujah. We pray in your name. Amen.
is love.